Well, welcome everybody to the Saturday training. First, I want to say how excited I am that um, you all made this a priority on a Saturday morning with Remembrance Day parades, Santa Claus parades I know are going on in a couple cities. Um, and, you know, being able to get a few people on, get some of your team members is a testament to your ability to build a business because it's not just about you showing up for events, it's your ability to influence others to show up. There is no leader who can make it to the top who shows up without their team. Um, so that's the first thing I want to say. The fact that you show up with team members shows that not only are you uh, committed to building the business, you have learned um, one of the most important le um, leadership lessons, and that is how to get other people uh, attending events. So first of all, I want to congratulate you. Just a little bit of um, uh, admin stuff I want to say to you. And that is you have two ways of looking at this. On the top right of your screen, you can do speaker view or you can do gallery view. Now I'm going to have things sharing on the screen a lot, so that's going to make a difference as well. But speaker view allows you to see uh, the speaker in bigger. Um, gallery view allows you to see more of the attendees. Of course, we have over 20 people now on here, so uh, 20 households on here, so um, you're not going to see everybody anyway. Now this is a two hour training. I'm dividing it into part one and part two. Um, maybe because I can't, I can only see a few of you on here. I can see, um, Dory, you're, you're at the top of my screen. Are you seeing the agenda right now? Just nod your head if you are. Okay, thank you. Perfect. So what we're doing is dividing it up. Uh, the first uh, hour, or hopefully it'll work out to be about 55 minutes, we're gonna talk about understanding Plexus more and network marketing. We have special guest speakers um, that I have taped messages from um, specifically for this from, a, from five different jewels in the company. So we've got some exciting messages and training coming up that you're going to love. And um, we're going to hear from some of our team members who are going to share little one to two minute uh, testimonials for us. Uh, and then we're going to take a break. We're going to have a 10 minute break. Those of you who have a sandwich you want to get or refresh your coffee, tree, tea, or slim drink, you can do that. Um, you won't log out of um, Zoom. It will also give me an opportunity to, to divide up this recording in two separate trainings. So that's sort of, the, uh, sort of the admin stuff. Make sure you have a paper and pen ready. There's going to be a lot of information. And then I challenge all of you, especially those of you who are sitting with some team members with you, to leave today with a little bit of a plan of action and strategy. If you're sitting with more than one person or sitting with somebody, that means you have a team and that means you have people looking to you for leadership. And uh, it's really important to step up when you're a leader and um, not just to be in management mode or reacting, but actually creating. So hopefully this will inspire you to do a little bit of that. To, um, the objectives of today are to get you a better understanding about the industry, um, this profession called network marketing, a little better understanding about Plexus and as you talk to other people, what makes Plexus unique, especially as we compare it to a couple other companies or two other companies. I'm not making any specific comparisons. I'm going to give you an example um, to help you understand how you can earn some income with this compensation plan. And if you're building a business and every single month you want to have goals for growth over the month before, and that it's very measurable. You measure it by the number of people you enroll and the number of, of team members that enroll. And that's basically it in network marketing. Okay, so I'm going to um, stop sharing the screen for a second. This is the only way to do it. And I'm going to pull up a document and let's just start with why network marketing. Let me go back to screen sharing. I don't know if that's gonna show the right one or not. I think so until you guys have to actually do this um, screen sharing on here. It's hard to understand why it's so, why it's so difficult. So are you seeing a list of um, items on here? Okay, I'm looking to you always, Dory, simply because you're the, one, the only one I can really, I can really see right now. Um, so let's talk about why network marketing. And, and before I do that, I'm gonna just tell you very quickly a little bit about um, how I came to do network marketing. Some of you know that I'm a nurse by profession. I graduated from Queen's University with two degrees, but my second degree was a nursing degree. 
Um, after working in the Northwest Territories for four years, I came to Peterborough, Ontario, where I was only supposed to work for five years, just so I could write my second set of United Nations exams, uh, because I needed five years in my designated profession. However, I ended up meeting somebody and getting married, so that threw all of those um, goals out. I was never a businesswoman. I came from a family of educators, so I never, I never even considered business. I didn't know what it meant to be a business person. But in hindsight, I know that I had skills of a business person from a very young age. I was the little girl at the end of the street selling her comic book so I could raise money, so I could buy my family Christmas gifts, that kind of thing. So I actually had an entrepreneurial spirit. I just didn't know it. But I married somebody who did who, along with running his accounting practice, had other businesses um, going all the time. And so it was able to really foster that side of me. In 1994, I fell into my very first experience, network marketing experience. Now, at that time, I had a two-year-old and an almost four-year-old, um, and there were teen teenagers in the house as well. But with a two- and four-year-old, I quickly learned that I wanted to be home with my children. I loved my nursing job. I worked 8.30 to 4.30, Monday to Friday, as a maternal infant high-risk nurse. I coordinated all the prenatal classes in Peterborough, and I worked with, with high-risk pregnancies. I love, love, love what I did. The only thing is, it was an 8.30 to 4.30, Monday to Friday job. It was decent income, um, but it still meant that I was going to have to put in my 30, 40 hour, years of work so I could have a pension. Um, life would be, would be okay. But um, I really wanted to be home. I just desperately wanted to be home with my kids. They were very kind to give me a job sharing position. So I was only there two days one week and three days the next. But that still wasn't what I really wanted. I really want to be home with my kids. So when I fell into this opportunity in 1994, when a doctor in Toronto put me on some supplements by a network marketing company, I didn't even know what that meant at the time, um, I found myself enthusiastically sharing the benefits of holistic health and what I quickly learned if you like to educate and if you can be passionate about it then a business follows because it took me from November of 1994 till January of 1997 working at that time for the first part of that I was working full-time last year I was down to part-time with two young kids and teenagers in the house it took me that period of time to take it to $10,000 a month. And that was a lot of money in 1997. It's a lot of money now, but it was a lot of money in 1997. And I did that um, working very part time. So I, I learned that there was opportunity out there for people who wanted to take it. And we didn't have the opportunity to build the way we do now, where we can get on a Zoom, where we can get on a conference call, uh, that we don't even have to drive. If you've got a prospect, you don't have to drive an hour to go meet with them. You just meet on Zoom. That is something that I never had the opportunity to do when I started the business. So with two young kids and a full-time career, if I had a meeting an hour or two out of, out of town, I had to drive. At the end of the day, after work, after dinner, or I would usually miss dinner, and I would drive out. And I did that to create the lifestyle I wanted. In 1999, I retired permanently from my nursing career. And from 1999, when my husband also sold his practice, we raised our children entirely through our network marketing income. We both retired because of it. So I share that because as I go through the list, it might make more sense to you. When you ask yourself, um, do you want to build your fortune or someone else's fortune? Because when you're building and working with someone else or in somebody else's business, you're not helping to build your, you're building yourself a job. You have a job and you have an income, but you're not building a fortune or a future for anybody but the person you work for. In network marketing, it is not unrealistic to double your income every single year. Not by doubling your effort, but by doing the same work over and over and over and over, a little bit consistently continues, starts to pay off more and more. If you want true financial freedom, because it, as you work a job and you get a little bit of raise and a little bit of raise, and you go from 15 an hour to 16 an hour to 17 an hour to 18 an hour, um, you're not building any, you don't have any opportunity to build true financial freedom. But if, you're, if you build in Plexus or in a strong network marketing company, uh, in time, if you were to work out your hourly rate, if I were to work out my hourly rate, it would be ridiculous. I can't, and I don't even work that many hours, so it would be really ridiculous. Nowadays, wealth is built on the internet. Well, what we've learned in Plexus is you can build using Facebook. You can build to diamond level 
with an average income of maybe over four hundred thousand dollars a year i mean I, and I will say that the majority of people are not going to make it to diamond the company right now has about 130 diamonds but they didn't have one when i started and in four years they have that many um, you can live a lit, rich and um, rewarding life and by that i don't mean rich financially i mean rich in personal development you become a much better you as you go through the training as you read more books on personal development on network marketing who you become changes significantly how you behave how optimistic you are um, the way you treat other people the way you um, enjoy not rewarding yourself although we all enjoy that but being able to be able to reward other each other and again I don't mean financially I mean by the gift of praise by loving on people because that what what's benefits your business you become a better friend a better mother a better partner um, I do think that a lot of, of who I am as a mother and as a friend is because of the things I've learned here uh, there isn't job security out there in the world we know that you get a good network marketing company let me tell you I did three before Plexus Unicity is the, what the first one is called, Melaleuca and the third one, Max International. Can I tell you that all those three companies are in business still? They are all still out there building and there's still strong companies out there. I didn't leave because of um, being let go. I left because I changed that what I wanted. I changed what I wanted in a business, in a culture. And there's all like everything else. There's all sorts of different cultures, different comp plans. And as I evolved and learned what I wanted more, um, I was able to fine-tune where I wanted to be but there was job security those companies are still there a lot of people I look at my friends that are my age in their 50s and older in their 60s they're still having to work they're working because they do not they cannot maintain the lifestyle in their retirement that they maybe enjoy some of them have lost a spouse some of them are divorced some of them just because of circumstances they weren't able to plan for retirement and I feel so, so grateful. Or some of you know my enroller, Arlene Wilcox, who is 10 years older than me. Next month, she's going to be, this month, later this month, she's going to be 64. I'm 54. Arlene has the income from, because she collects income from a few different companies that few will ever imagine to have that kind of income. And she doesn't consider herself retired because she doesn't consider herself ever retiring. But I promise you, she is not somebody that works hard. She loves what she does. She works when she wants. And she has an executive income that few will ever enjoy in their, in their peak of their career. So the question you have to ask yourself, especially because our business is filled with millennials. We have all these people in their 20s and in their 30s having amazing success. I look at them and I think, if it not, were not for them discovering this industry, they would be looking at working for the next, and I say 50 years, because it is predicted that the next generation will not be able to retire in their 50s and 60s. But because of this, they're going to live in a semi-retirement. If they can build this business, work a few years and build this business, they can work, live their entire adult life in a semi-retired state. And if you do it well, and you build a business that becomes system dependent, dependent on the things we put in place rather than sponsor develop dependent, you can build a bit income that will start to build itself whether or not you are working. We're in a career that we recognize and appreciate people. How great is that? It's not about tearing down. I look at people who do things like real estate and they spend all their time fighting, in a sense, I don't mean fighting, but competing with um, those in their community. How do we get success? We recognize and appreciate not only those on our team, but those sidelined to us in the company. How great is it to do that? There is no, there is no future in the nine to five job. It is a broken system now. So having your own career is the way to go. It's so much fun to surround yourself with like-minded, ambitious people, people who want more for themselves, who want to be more, and who are willing to make the sacrifice, and, and sometimes to their family. The family have to be in, involved in, in the process of you going to the top. Your family has to be involved. When my kids were little, I had an envelope on their doors. I'm talking about when they were like three and four and five years old. I had an envelope on the door. They got to cut out whatever gift they wanted from the Sears catalog, because that's what we use, and I don't even know if there is still a Sears catalog, they got to pick out whatever gift they wanted. And if it was $20 or $30 or $50, that amount was written on the, on the envelope. And I would write, let's say it was $50, I would do 50 little lines on there. Every time mommy went out, they got a loony, or for the Americans, a dollar, that went in that envelope, and that was towards their gift. Well, I'll tell you what was happening pretty quickly. 
they were saying, especially, you know, they had 25 loonies and they needed 25 more. And if I was doing a meeting, um, just even a telephone meeting, every time I did something and they had to be, you know, they had to be quiet or have to go entertain themselves, they got a loony. And pretty soon they were saying, mommy, are you doing a meeting tonight? Because they wanted the money to get their gift. It was a brilliant way to get my children involved in the process. We do have a shrinking job market. Look at how many people are having trouble finding work. We have teachers who are graduating who can't get jobs. We have people who are looking internationally to get work. And if I look at my, I look at the kids, my kids, and I think life will never be for them what it was for us. We got good jobs. We could buy houses. Things were much more affordable. It is not that way for our kids now. Buying a house and managing is much more difficult. What about if you do well in your business that you get a holiday and you get to drive a luxury car? That's a pretty nice little thing. And why the rich get richer is they have all sorts of tax breaks. Where else can you pay $34.95 and set yourself up in business? But listen to this, and if you think about it this way, you let's just say hypothetically you don't have one customer and you're spending $100 or $150 a month on product for yourself. Guys, that is your entire cost of running a business. $100 or $150. People who run businesses spend far more money than that. You have no staff. You have no overhead. You have no leases. You have nothing but to spend $100 to $150 a month, which, by the way, if you have a customer who buys that, you've now eliminated your need to do that. But let's say you don't and you're spending that $100 to $150 a month. You now have a registered business, both with the IRS and with Revenue Canada. What that means is you have all the tax breaks of running a business. Now your expenses that are fixed, like your cell phone, your house phone, your internet, your gas, things that you have no choice but to spend anyway, now you get to write those things off. So forget not only the income you make, but the money you save because you have a business. Far more than that $100 to $150. If you didn't get proud of it and it was just going in the garbage can, you still would be ahead. So that's something for you guys to really to really consider. Okay, I've got to stop sharing for a minute. Um, and I'm going to move, just let me, get, let me get myself organized here because I want you guys to listen to our very first guest. Now, our first guest is um, going to, ah, just a minute. Our first guest is going to talk to you, give you a little bit of background on Plexus, a little bit of Plexus history. Now, if you guys could see what I have to do here to make this happen, you will understand that if the mouth uh, of the speaker and the sound isn't a hundred percent. You guys are just gonna have to get over that. Just a minute. Hi everyone, this is Sheila Medina, Diamond Ambassador with Plexus Worldwide. I am thrilled to be a part of your training today, hosted by Emerald Ambassador Natalie Fuller. Natalie asked me to share a little bit about my journey and the Plexus growth journey as well. A little bit about our history. I want to take you back to 2008 when I joined Plexus Worldwide, only a breast health company with one product, one non-consumable product, a breast check kit. Later on, they added the Plexus body cream, and in 2009, July, I was asked to try Plexus Slim. Now, this product came to me in a clear jar in a white packet and I was asked to add it to water, shake it up and drink it once a day and to the report back to see what it was doing for me. It started balancing my body. I saw, saw amazing things happening to me and other people noticed it too. I felt better. I was sleeping better. Uh, I was managing my weight, controlling my cravings. I was just amazed at what the product was doing and I started sharing it with a few people. It just comes natural, right? You start sharing something that works for you. And so in 2010, I decided to go full time with the company. That was January of 2010, realizing that they had only done a little less than 300,000 the year before. I don't know what I was thinking that going with a company that was doing so little business, but you know what? Sometimes you just know you're at the right place at the right time. So in 2010, when I went full time, we just started sharing the product, sharing testimonies, working the business a little bit, and realizing how generous our comp plan was. So realizing that in 2009, the company did less than $300,000 worth of business. In 2010, by just a few of us out there sharing, we did a little less than a million dollars worth of business. Now, of course, you can't go out posting this on social media because this is just approximate numbers. But I want to just 
give you a little understanding of how the growth started to happen. In 2011, I became the first Emerald Ambassador. We decided to have a convention that year with less than 300 people in attendance. In fact, we had our very first Emerald Extravaganza with only five of us being jewels. And it was interesting because that year we did a little less than 10 million. So here we are, 2008, a little less than 300,000, 2010, a little less than a million. But in 2011, we did a little less than 10 million. So it was starting to grow. And in 2012, I became the first Sapphire ambassador. And we had our second convention with a little less than 1,200 people in attendance. But in 2012, we did $36 million worth of business. We were starting to grow. And then in 2013, I became the first diamond ambassador. And you know, you don't become a, a diamond ambassador unless you take other people with you. So we started having other emeralds and other sapphires move up the ranks. And it was exciting because in 2013, we did um, $160 million worth of business for the year. And as a diamond ambassador, I was so proud of Plexus Worldwide because we were beginning to grow. Other people were starting to find out about us. But we were still very, very small in comparison to other companies out there. And so I got on stage that year with less than 3,500 people in attendance. And I said, please, I don't want to be the only diamond. I want everyone to work this business, realize how generous our comp plan, and we need more diamonds. We need more sapphires. We need more emeralds. We need people to move up the ranks. And that's exactly what happened. Because in 2014, we started doing over $30 million a month. We had over 30 people become diamonds that year our convention went to like 7,000 people it was crazy growth crazy crazy growth and look where we are in 2015 uh, we did like a little less than 390 million for the year I can remember when we did a million a month I can remember when we did 30 million a month and then here we are just this year doing almost 50 million dollars a month in business and we celebrated having 100 diamonds this year we also celebrated having over 500 jewels in plexus worldwide i'm here to tell you that the growth of this company is staggering you know when the direct sales association ranks you number 27 in the united states and number 46 worldwide knowing that worldwide means that we're in the united states canada australia and new zealand oh my gosh what an opportunity you guys have to build your business and to watch the growth in canada we have only just begun truthfully just begun really working this business and people finding out who we are and what amazing products we have and what a generous compensation plan we have. I know I've said generous a couple times, but it truly is. If you look at our discount, uh, our income disclosure sheet, you'll see how generous Plexus Worldwide is. You know, we're not looking for millions of people to make million dollars. We're looking for millions of people to make thousands of dollars. And with our comp plan, you can do that. You know, if you're out there looking for people that want to make $10,000 a month or more, you might be looking for the wrong people. I think it's people that 300 or 500 could change everything for them. So what if those couple of hundreds grow into thousands? I mean, this business is amazing and people always say oh I wish I could have started this business when you did but you know what I don't know if you would have went through all the bumps and bruises that I've went through and many of us have went through so today is a great day to start your business whether you've been with us for months days or even years this is exactly where you're supposed to be today at this amazing training you know I believe Emerald Ambassador Natalie Fuller knows more about network business network marketing than I will ever know and she truly is a leader in this industry and so please play pay close attention to what she, her training is about today because I believe she's going to the top of this company in just a very short amount of time but guess what She's going to need others to go with her in order to achieve those ranks. So we would love to see you guys at the top. I am just so looking forward to hearing more about how this training goes today. And I will see all of you at the top of this company because I believe that we are one plexus. And I'll see you at the top. Okay. Just one minute, everybody. Let me get that closed. Now, I am going to. Um, I'm going to just bring up a document that you all have access to. One minute. And then I'm going to get ready to hear from Leanne in a few minutes. So I'm just giving Leanne a heads up. Um, let me do some screen sharing. Nope. That's not what I want. 
just a minute. If you could see how many things I am trying to juggle here, you'd appreciate what I'm doing. Really is a lot of thing that a lot of things I'm juggling. Trust me. Okay. Can you guys see right now a screen? Can you, what separates Plexus from other network marketing companies? You can see that. Okay. Thank you. Let me try to make that a little bit bigger. Well, maybe I can't. Let's just let's just see here. There we go. That should be a little bit easier for you to see. And this is a, a, a document that we have on the team and everybody has probably looked at, but really quickly, I want, to, I want to talk to you about what separates us from other network marketing companies. This is a company that started in 2008. And when I looked at the company, there were certain things I was looking at. Um, in this industry, in the network marketing industry, one of the negative things you'll hear a lot about are those companies that have a lot of hype. They do, they do things in a very big way publicly or um, so on using social media. So they create an incredible amount of hype and excitement and enthusiasm. Hype is not sustainable. When I looked at Plexus in 2008, what I saw was a company that was doing no more than $2 million a month. It was out of um, all around about three hours from Biloxi, Mississippi. They were, it was a company that was building by people having true experiences and organically sharing the benefits of the product. There were no network marketers here. There was nobody being paid to be here. The company wasn't doing any big snazzy marketing. In fact, they had nothing. They didn't have a brochure. They had nothing. They had a product that people loved and were talking about. And um, so that's one of the things that really separates us. Everybody participates in the profit sharing pool from day one. But what that really means is we are all in this together. We are truly one plexus. When one team benefits, we all benefit. We have a vested interest to help each other, our sideline friends, have success. It's why when I get calls from people to say, can, can so-and-so attend our training? Absolutely, because the more we all train one another's teams, the better it is for everybody. Um, because we don't have any high volume requirements, everybody from the day they come in until all the way to Diamond, it's 100 points of products that has you qualified for your, um, for your check. In a lot of companies, the qualification for your personal volume grows with your level of growth. You get to gold and it goes to 150. You get to, you get to ruby and it's going to go to 200. In Plexus, it's 100 points. No matter where you are in the business, it's 100 points. Well, we can all consume 100 points of product in our family. Um, that's easily. So there is no, there is no, and this is something extra that I'm, I'm just saying that if you're reading this, I'm, I'm not in the exact order. Um, so that's something that I really like. We don't have people stocking products in the garage. If somebody asks me if they could buy the product from me, I tell them I'm not an Avon lady. That we have a replicating site. We have customer accounts, and they can go to my website and set up as a customer and get the product. Internal competition, well, just like I said, there is none of that. If we're, sharing, if we're sharing in the same pool, we all work together. And truly, I've never seen a company where all the leaders work together so well, as you'll see from some of our speakers today. Sheila Medina, our first speaker, is in our support line, but nobody else is that I have speaking for you today. Uh, the comp compensation plan security. One of the biggest things that people get concerned about in network marketing is that their companies change plans as time goes on. Trust me, in the, the three other companies I was with, they changed their compensation plan fairly regularly. Um, I won't get into the reasons that that happened because it's complicated and we have a lot to get through here. Um, except what I will say to you is Plexus has designed it so 50% of the profits go to the field and 50% goes to the company. Now, so does every other company pretty much say the same thing. The difference is that our PV value changes by a few pennies. It'll be 270, then it'll be 274, then it'll be 280, it'll be 289, it'll go back down to 275. 
it go, goes up to maybe three dollars a point it stays right around that three dollars a point a plexus point value but it changes a few pennies every single month up or down a few pennies that is like a barometer that protects our company so they always get their 50 percent by doing that there's never a need for them to change a comp plan and since i've been here it's never been changed and it has never been changed since the company started and that's a huge thing that you can count on the compensation plan None of our sales or business building tools is a profit center. And as you can see, the company's making more and more of that available in our back office as shareables, even with the success on demand, which by the way, we pay nothing for success on demand. Do you realize some network marketing companies are, are really encouraged to get it? The company offers it for as little as 20 and as high as $35 a month for them to have access to that training because everybody wants their people to go through personal development. Our company is paying for that, and we all get that for free. Husbands and wives allowed to take into account. How grateful am I that, that, that that's the way it was? Because when I lost my husband, I inherited his business. And I have two emerald positions. That would, in many, many companies, a husband and wife would not have been able to have a position. I would not have inherited a position, and my income is essentially doubled because of that. We get checks every week and every month. So the weekly checks are based on those of you who are building a business. We're going to talk about that a little bit when we go through the compensation. Um, so that makes it really nice. If somebody needs to earn extra money and needs to count on a check on Friday, they can do that here. We get paid on seven levels. And that means that you have a vested interest to work in your team um, because we are paid out for seven levels of your business. There are no windfalls in the compensation plan. And this is something that I, that I really like. It, um, there's a lot of compensation plans that um, when we talk about windfalls, I'm really talking about windfalls to the company. And that's when we have breakage, when people don't qualify, money full runs up to the company. That doesn't happen here because when somebody's not qualified, the money just rolls right up um, to the person above them. It doesn't stay as an empty hole. Um, and so seven levels above are always getting paid. And, you know, I'll give you a best example. People do companies that have binary incomes. You may or may not understand this, but in a binary, you're building two legs. It's impossible to build two equal legs. So let's say you build a business and there's 20,000 volume on one leg and there's 2,000 volume on the other. You are getting paid on the smaller of the two legs. You're getting paid on the 2,000. Well, if you have 20,000 on the other leg, and that, by the way, is a very typical example, then the 18,000 in your business you're not being paid on. Now, the company justifies it by telling you it's going in a bank. It's being saved as reserved. And down the road, when you build your smaller leg bigger, you're going to be able to collect on it. But the reality is you never do. Those are called windfalls to the company. Um, and uh, our retail and preferred customers, we are paid extraordinarily well on our customers. As a matter of fact, I think it would be a perfect um, opportunity to um, hear from two different speakers. First, I'm going to ask, and I'm going to close that out. First, I'm going to ask to hear from Leanne, so just one minute. Actually, Leanne, you are comfortable on here. If you can, um, if you can take a second and mute yourself. You unmute. Thank you, Leanne. I'm going to change it to speaker view so I can see you nice and big. And Leanne, um, can you share with us why or what, what is different for you? What, what have you noticed different in Plexus? Hey, Natalie. Well, thank you. Can you hear me okay? Can hear you well. Okay, good. Um, well, what was really different for me is, is that I had been with a couple companies before. And when I came to Plexus four years ago, I said to Natalie, don't ask me to do this as a business. I'm not looking for a business. The timing is not right. So don't pressure me. Don't, you know. And um, that second month that I was in the company, I had only referred what I thought was a few people and I got a paycheck in the mail and it was a $500 paycheck. And I remember looking at it saying to Natalie, Oh, I'm not cashing this. There's got to be a mistake. There's something wrong because I haven't done anything to earn this. And in the other couple previous companies that we had been with, we had earned fast start bonuses. We had done things like that, but had never truly earned residual income. 
And when I saw that, I thought, well, there's not a whole bunch of letters behind my name. I don't have a bunch of degrees or anything like that, but I'm not stupid. And uh, I said at that point, okay, maybe I should look into this because there's obviously something different here with the compensation plan because all I had done was referred customers and made $500. I had not referred any ambassadors yet. I was not building the business. I was just referring the products because I had fell in love with the products in the first month. And so now, four years later, I can honestly say that in four years, there's never been a month that I did not receive a paycheck. I have re earned residual income whether I have worked the business or not. Um, many of you know last week my daughter broke her elbow. Uh, I was away for a week on vacation, came home, and the next week she was basically at, in and out of the hospital for the week. I, it has allowed me, Plexus truly has allowed me to put priorities first. And so I was a mom first last week. I was able to work my business around that schedule. So Plexus has made a difference in the fact that it truly has made me believe that this industry and especially this company is for anyone. Anyone can do this, and I truly believe that they can work it into their schedule and they can earn residual income however high they want that to be. Perfect. Thank you so much, Leanne. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm, we're going to do a little bit on the compensation plan. We're right on time. I'm so excited about this that we're staying right on time. So let me um, let me screen share again. Let me find what I'm looking for. Huh, this is working out. Um, okay. Now what I'm going to do, we're going to hear from our last speaker in just a few minutes, but I want to take a few minutes and go over an example of your building an income. You guys can, un can um, print off the compensation plan, you know, the 11 different ways we can make money. But what I wanted to talk to you about was some specific scenarios for income milestones. Most of us work best when we have a very specific plan to build our business. And the only thing that really separates People in their success here are those that can get organized. And um, let me just open this up a little bit. Those who can get organized and set small goals and work this business consistently. And you will hear over and over, it's not about the person who can come in and give us two or three hours a day. It's finding 30 minutes a day and consistently doing that. Not finding yourself in front of the TV, which I do. I'm a TV watcher. But... I'm, I happen to do this full time, so I can I have the opportunity to work in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. So when I want to sit down and, eat, um, and watch a bit of TV, I can do that around having done my work. But I'm going to tell you, when I started this business and I had young kids and I worked full time job, I didn't have time for TV. I made absolutely sure I got the work done, and it's why I took it to a six figure income um, in just over two years while I had a full time job and young children. So I would ask you to really dedicate yourself, even if it's only 30 minutes a day to your schedule. And we're going to have somebody talk um, a little bit later on about what that might look like. But let's look at some specific examples. And what's really good about doing this is it's all about duplication. You see, if you can do it in a way that makes sense to teach other people, then you can build a gigantic empire doing the same thing that you've already done. Now, I'm going to share all of this document with everybody, so don't worry about reading everything. But let's just say that in the first month, you want to make a little bit of money. One of your first goals is always to get to 500 PV. And the reason for that is your commission on your customers and your personal purchases goes up from 15 to 25% as soon as you hit the 500 PV. Now, I know many of you listening here do that every single month, and many of you keep it over 1,000 PV. Um, but a 500 PV is when the change is made in your commission. So what, what would it take to get that? Well, here's an example. Your own personal order of your triplex is 101. Let's say you get a couple preferred customers who also order the triplex, our number one um, purchase. About 90% of all people who enroll in Plexus start with the triplex combo. That would give you an additional 230. Maybe you have a customer who's mostly motivated for weight loss, so they do the Slim Boost or Slim Accelerator combo, and that's 90. And I would not encourage anybody to do a retail customer, but sometimes they land on your website because you've been doing some promotion on social media, and a common purchase would be a slim. 
because that is something people know about, they've read about, and they not, might not know the benefits of being preferred over retail, so they pay $84.95, and, or it's eight, and it is an $84.95, but it's $84.95 PV. You've now hit the 500 PV. So you have just earned in commissions, we're not talking about the customer bonus, but in commissions, $101. Now, you're gonna get commissions on those customer commissions, $20 for each triplex, you're gonna get $18 on the customer who bought the Slim and Boost, combo um, and on the retail customer you don't make any preferred customer commission so you made an additional 58 so in in finding those four customers three that are preferred and one that is a retail and doing your own purchase you've now earned a check of about 160 dollars you certainly covered your product price and made some money but what if you also started building a little bit of a business we always encourage everybody to try to hit silver in their first month Silver means you've enrolled three ambassadors, but whether you do it in your first month or it takes you a little longer, but I would encourage you to do it in three months. You all know three people who wouldn't mind making a little extra money like you and people that you'd like to work with um, and help letting us help you reach out to them would be a great benefit. Well, you're going to get the silver bonus of 100, but then, um, and some of those are going to get some customers, so you might make a little bit of money in our, in our pool, but you're also making welcome pack money. Remember that if somebody buys a $99 pack, you will earn $25 the following week. And if they, and in this example, we have um, one of your people bought a $199 pack and two of them bought a $99 pack, which is where you're picking up this extra income. So what you have made by the end of your first month is about 500 US dollars. And there's all the breakdown. I'm not gonna go over all the breakdown, but you've got three ambassadors, four customers, and you've made $500. Now, let's, take, let's go to month two. Month two, we're making up a little bit of ground because you don't have that $100 bonus anymore, but now we're gonna work to get to 1,000 PV. You're gonna finish the end of your second month with seven or eight customers. There's a number of you who are on here who always carry a volume of over 1,000. We're gonna continue by getting at least um, th those preferred customers, and you're gonna try to add some more ambassadors. In this case, you've added two more yourself, and two ambassadors have been added um, on your second level. So you've got a total of five. You got three last month, two the second month, and out of those five, you got a couple new ambassadors. There's just starting a little bit of duplication. Those seven ambassadors are gonna pay you an income, and you're gonna finish this month with a little over $600. Again, for the Canadians, that's American. Now in month three, you're continuing to keep your volume over that thousand. You're going to continue to build your business. Now, we are doing, uh, in this case, we're only adding a couple ambassadors a month. I will encourage you to always try to do three. But in, what we're talking about, in this example, you're just doing it, trying to get two ambassadors a month. It is somewhere around 50% of the ambassadors will come in with a $199 pack and 50% will come in with a $99 pack. And that's why we use this example. But now you're really teaching duplication. Some of your ambassadors are doing what you're doing and they're working to get to silver. So we're gonna add, you're gonna start seeing the, the additions in your business happening down in your second level a little more because you're helping your level ones also enroll, level, enroll ambassadors. And you are gonna finish by just doing that your third month at over $800 US. So for the Canadians, that's like 10,000. No, it's not. <laughs> but you're well over a thousand dollars Canadian. Now, again, I'm going to tell you, we have people and we're going to hear from one in just a few minutes. I, uh, and Dory, I don't know actually. Um, and if you want to think about it for a minute before I ask you, um, I know you were creating some pretty significant income quickly through a customer base. And if you have that, if you can sort of throw that out there, I don't know what it is, but I have a kind of a guess in month four, um, we're going to be making a little bit more money. This is the month you're going to go gold. That means you've got a team of about 20 ambassadors and all you've done is the same thing over and over. You managed your eight or nine customers. So they may be the same customers, but I will tell you it's from your customers that you get ambassadors. One out of three customers are going to upgrade. So those customers, each those ambassadors you're getting each month may be coming from your customer base. So you're doing things to, um, to add customers every month because you're losing some of your customers to be new ambassadors. Um, in this case, you're working with your team now. And so we only have you down as putting in one ambassador in your fourth month. 
uh, that's not necessarily what you're going to do. You may do more, but one ambassador, because now you are working with your level twos, your level threes, and helping them to duplicate. So that's where you're getting some more of your business. You've made gold, you've hit $250, and you've now hit almost $1,200 a month in month four. Month five, well, you've just added two more ambassadors yourself, but you are now adding them in level twos, level three, level four. You're now getting duplication. And look at month six. Month six, you hit senior gold. And now you're getting a more significant business. Now, I made senior gold in my first 30 days. So is this duplicatable? It's so duplicatable. I did it in I did it in one month, and I've given you a plan to do it in six months here. But by six months, you have an income of $1,800 US. Um, and this is just a brand new senior gold. If we pull up our income statistics, I think the average income of the senior gold is 2,000 US a month. Um, but we're just a brand new senior gold in this example. For a lot of you, that is more than your goal would be. But I wanted to share that with you in this handout. If it's not in Plexus Power Team, it will be there shortly after this meeting. Now I'm going to stop this, and I'm going to ask if um, let me get let's get back here. If Dory could take two minutes and just share her experience um, with and with our business here in the comp plan. Are you there, Dory? Yep, I'm here. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. Yeah, I didn't plan on a business at all. As Natalie knows, I was very adamant on not having a business, actually. Um, joined for the wholesale pricing because my husband and I both took product. Um, people came to us after seeing and hearing our results. So I created a high personal volume, which produced a great paycheck. I think, Natalie, I was over um, 3,000 personal volume. I think that's what it was. Um, and so I discovered it was meant to be. I was enjoying myself. I was feeling better. Um, so I began building my team, which actually the next guest speaker is a team member of mine um, and friend, Cami. Um, I benefit tremendously from being able to run my business around my family. Uh, a lot have like this village to help with your kids. And I'm kind of like in my situation, I'm kind of the village. <laughs> I guess you'd say my husband works six days a week. Um, this morning he went in at 3:45 in the morning. Um, we might see him at 5:30. If it's a weekday, we might see him at 8:30. Who knows? So it's me and my son all the time. And actually, Natalie, the envelope thing. I actually told Tice if he's good during this, he gets to get paid by Plexus because he's my part-time worker today. <laughs> awesome. So if this business didn't allow me to do my thing my way with my son with me when I'm sharing and talking and meeting with customers and teammates, then um, I wouldn't be here talking to you today because I would not be able to do it. Um, my, my son loves seeing that his mom gets people healthy and his mom's happy at what she's doing. So that drives me even more, just knowing he's watching me and knowing I can share this with him. Um, it was extremely hard for us to have kids. Um, still, I mean, we've tried for nine years. So Tice is a miracle. and I want every minute with them and every second with them and families, everything to us. Uh, it means the world to me to be able to do this business, do what I love with who I love. So that's pretty much the bottom line of where my business stems from, what drives me. And I have to succeed, succeed because he's watching <laughs> all the time. Mm -hmm. So, um, but yeah, it, is Cammie going to? No, not right now. So oh, okay. Okay. Thank, thank you so yeah. much. Dory mm -hmm. and you know I love Dory's story because um, when Dory came in it was really clear it was I was told by people in her support line Dory's not doesn't want to build a business she's just gonna do customers it's on her own time we're not gonna see her show up at trainings and you just sometimes have to let people evolve into the builder because the truth is you don't build a business without some sacrifice and I'm so excited because Dory is making that sacrifice to build her business she's training a team and um, we're going to hear from somebody in our team right after the break. Um, Cammie's going to be speaking um, just shortly after the break. I'm, we're right on time, which I'm so excited about. So we're going to stop right now. We're going to take a 10-minute break. That means you can leave your computer. Don't, don't go out of your computer. Leave your, you can just stay right here. I'm going to stop the recording. Um, we're going to restart the computer in 10 minutes. So get yourself a drink. Take a 10-minute break. Be right back. It is 11.50. I want you back here at 12 Eastern time in 10 minutes to start again. Okay, everybody?